Are you okay, Boruto? It, yeah. What are we going to do now, though? She got away. A ninja, a ninja world, world missing individual memories. memories. In other words, a ninja, a ninja world without memories, memories is about to be born. What? <laughs> Who are you? Come with me if you wish to stop this chaos. We check it out. What is this place? There aren't any other players. It seems like a separate place from where we were before. Everything looks like the real world. You're right. Welcome, Welcome to the to Time, Time Reservoir. Reservoir. Who are you? I'm Tonori Otsutsuki. You could say that I'm the supervisor of this planet. Otsutsuki? Hold on. Don't tell me that you're with Momoshiki. I'm not like them. I'm here to help you. Help us? Can we trust you? That is up to you. However, you have no way to better this situation right now. That's why, despite your suspicions, you followed me here. Am I right? Boruto? This person really doesn't seem to be an enemy. Yeah. He feels different from them. It's true, we don't have any options. And I guess you seem different. Does that mean you trust me a little? Yeah, but if you do anything funny, I'm gonna... I won't be doing anything. Just offering a bit of help. Rather, there is much I will ask you to do, if we're going to make it through this. About that, is it really possible to stop this chaos? Yes, but it will not be easy. Recovering all of the memories people have built up until now will require a significant amount of time. What's more, the amount of memory that has been lost is astronomical. Normally it would take decades or even centuries. Then there's really no way. However, there is one thing about this current world in our favor. And that is your father. Naruto Uzumaki. My dad? Although the amount may vary quite significantly, your father is in the memories of nearly everyone alive right now. His power is so great it goes beyond wars and is accepted by everyone. A power that could only be because he is Naruto Uzumaki. We will be using that. Using what? First, I will have you go back to the past, and retrace Naruto's history. You can retrieve his memories there. Go back to the past? How? It is possible if we use this mysterious space's unique properties with the power of Otsutsuki. A book? However, only one person can go to the past. What's more, they will be unable to interfere with any of the events there. If it's the only way, then I guess we just have to do it. 
If you're able to recover Naruto Uzumaki's memories, I will be able to release them. The released memories will spread from him to others. Once they have rippled out far enough, the lights will shine again. And everyone's memories will return. Got it. Although, it seems like it's going to take a while. We should go back and report to my dad first, then. I'd like to go over the situation and figure out what we're gonna do. Yeah. You should hurry. There's not much time left. You're back. Welcome back, Boruto. Wait, you... Yes, they haven't been affected either. Mom, Dad, everyone went crazy. Just when I was thinking about what to do next, Katasuke came up to me. We heard about everything. We'll be helping you guys too. I mean, the ninja world depends on us after all. So? What happened? I yeah, actually... So you let her get away. Sorry. You can apologize later. We still have things we can do. Focus on that for now. Recovering memories? Seems like we should hurry. We were looking into the situation on this side while you were in the game. The Hidden Leaf Ninja have all left the village and are seconds away from going to war. It's the same with the other villages. They've all taken similar action. Every village is under Merz's mind control. Crazy. We don't have much time. We'll be splitting up into three groups. One will search for Zero's hideout on this side. Another team will return to the other side and begin recovering the memories. Sasuke, let me handle the memories. I'm part of the reason this all happened. And besides... If someone needs to retrace Naruto's history, you're the one most suited to do it. You got it! Sarada and the rest will go search for the hideout. Gather as much information as you can and determine its location. You make it sound so easy. Are we going to be able to find it without any leads? Hmm. My dad always said that you'll be able to find anything you're looking for if you start sifting through the straw. Straw? We know that this Zero organization has been really active lately. That means that they're probably sending out spies, running experiments, or have been doing other things that have brought them to the surface. He said that that's when people get careless and make mistakes. If you can find a mistake, you might be able to catch them by the tail. But where do we start? How about you look into recent missions? If there's any unsolved and suspicious missions, you might find a lead. Oh. Hey, Sarda, speaking of missions... Right. I just remembered, too. It might be connected. What? What are you talking about? We'll tell you more about it later. Dad, have you used Susano in a fight lately? No. Then that place really is suspicious. I think it's worth looking into again. Where are you going, Sasuke? I'm going to slow down Naruto. Once he joins in the war, there will be massive casualties. I'm the only one who can stop him. Take this. It's a communication device. You'll be going to the other side. Please contact us with this as soon as you get back. Thanks. We all have our missions. Let's go. go Let's do this. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll get back my dad's memories. Take this, Boruto. The light will likely return if you follow Naruto's memories. 
When that light shines strong, your father's memories are returning. If that happens, I just need to hand it to you, right? Exactly. Okay. Now go to your father. Get back Naruto Uzumaki's memories. So, I'm going into the past like this? You're going back in time to retrace the memories of Naruto Uzumaki. I'll be your guide. The nine-tailed fox spirit was sealed within your father by the fourth Hokage. And that's where Naruto's memories begin. With nine tails residing within him, Naruto dealt with persecution from the villagers. But in spite of his burden, he stayed strong, hanging on to a dream to one day become the Hokage. After graduating from the Ninja Academy, Naruto was assigned to Team 7 with Sasuke Uchiha and Sakura Haruno. The head of Team 7, Kakashi Hatake, held a training session to assess their abilities. Historically speaking, it was nothing more than a trivial competition. But, to Naruto, it was his important first step to finding his ninja way. This will be nothing like your previous training. It's a test to see what you can actually accomplish as a Genin. Did he say test? What? Of the 27 graduates, only nine will be accepted as Genin. And the chance that you'll fail is at least 66%. Seeing everything happen like this, could this mean I'm inside my dad's body? That's right. From this point on, you'll experience the life of Naruto Uzumaki directly from his point of view. This is how you'll collect his memories. I get it, but this feels pretty weird. They're about to start. Dang it! Well, I'm not gonna be weeded out! Let's get started here. Don't be too scared when you see how tough I am. You can use this. this. Dad's so determined. Being a ninja is quite special to Naruto. It's the first step to achieving his dream after all. Oh, God. I know what happens after this, since his dream actually comes true. It just reminds me how amazing Dad is. His connection to Sasuke Uchiha and Sakura Horino grew deeper as soon as he joined Team 7. Back then, Naruto saw Sasuke, an elite student, as his rival and seemed to have a crush on Sakura. Oh, she's a close friend of the family now. Wow. So this is where it all started. Whoa, what the... My body is... You're done collecting memories here. On to the next one. 
But wait, what happened to Dad and the others after that? Kakashi Hatake wasn't actually testing their strength. He just wanted to make sure they understood teamwork. Since they easily met his expectations, he officially welcomed them to Team Seven. <laughs> of course they did. It is those three, after all. From there, they took on various missions as ninja. The life of a ninja is full of danger. And this is the first time Naruto fought a life-or-death battle. Don't hold it against me. I had no other choice. I'm on this, Sasuke! Don't hold me back! Stay away! Stay away! It's the land of waves. In modern times, this spot is known as the Great Naruto Bridge. There was a great battle here to prevent the bridge from being built. Team Seven is taking on two ninja hell-bent on ending its construction. One is known as Zabuza Mochi, and the other is Haku. Haku, who you see fighting now, had a special ability called the Keke Genkai. Allowing him to manipulate my style. So, he becomes a ninja and he's already fighting guys like this? Correct. Fighting through life or death situations like these make them stronger. Haku linked his life as a tool of violence at Sabuza's disposal. This was not unheard of for the life of a ninja. Young Naruto was shocked to see Haku's subjugation. He'd never been exposed to such a life of certainty. Being exposed to Haku's cruel fate made Naruto fully aware of his own The ninja way of never going back on his word. On to the next point in time. Haku lived as Zabuza's tool of violence, yet in the end, Naruto was able to show Zabuza how much Haku cared for him. Seeing the way Haku and Zabuza died was a turning point in Naruto's life. With this experience under his belt, Naruto moved on to his next encounter. Against a ninja feared by many, known as Gara of the Sand. Good old Gara. What's the matter? Do I scare you? You should only love yourself and fight for yourself. That is the definition of strength. Thought he was strong, because he only fought for himself, and he was always alone. That's not what real strength is all about! So if Dad and Olgara are fighting each other... The clash between two enormous villains, Leaf and the Sand, caused the destruction of the Leaf. Gara was the secret weapon of the Hidden Sand, due to the tailed beast known as Shukaka, sealed within him. Tailed beast? Just like Dad. Correct. He was in the same situation as Naruto, holding a tailed beast inside and being persecuted by the villagers. Well, Gara has some killer attacks, huh? And at this point in Gara's life, he couldn't trust it anymore. But the one to soften his closely guarded heart was none other than Naruto Uzumaki. Although their situations were similar, Naruto's connection to his friends made him stronger. And Gara saw this, and he wanted it too. Forever. Mm. 
After encountering Naruto, Gara began to walk in the light. And I'm sure you know what happened after that. Uh-huh. He was accepted by all the villagers and became Kazikage. Naruto's spirit has influenced so many around him. Some are guided to the light as Gara was, while others have drifted toward darkness. Sasuke chose the latter path. Naruto reached out to Sasuke in a desperate attempt to stop him. He considered Sasuke an irreplaceable friend. continued to go back and forth without a decisive result. It provoked Naruto to unleash his ultimate power, using everything in his repertoire. He was still unable to stop Sasuke. Naruto refused to give up. Once his next chance had surfaced, he immediately took action. He decided to embark on a journey to train together with his new master, Jiraiya the legendary Sanin. And several years later, history would once again grow turbulent. To think those two had such a crazy past. I never knew about any of this. <laughs> What's this? Your collected memories change to light, gathered in a single spot. I get it. So if the light gets strong enough, Dad gets his memory back, right? Correct. Nice. I've got this figured out now. But first, since you've collected all the memories up to this point, you should head back to the Time Reservoir. It seems a fascinating development has begun. Fascinating development? Boruto, changes are happening in this space because you started returning the memories. What do you mean? This place is built on the space this Nanashi girl created. Therefore, her memories are mixed into the crevices of the space. 
Normally, those memories would not come to the surface. But this space isn't under her control now. That's why they reacted to this space, and her Kisaki appeared. So, if I touch that, I can see Nanashi's past? Whether you do it or not is up to you. However, if you want to know more about her... Of course I'll look. I hardly know anything about her. Yachi Hoku, what a splendid ability. You will be our weapon from now on. If we implant other visual jutsu, you can multiply its effects. A weapon does not need a kind name. Nanashi will be perfect for you. I'll carve a new mark. You better conform this time. And quit your crying. Crying won't get you anywhere. No. No. No! I think I've seen this. It's something only I saw a while ago. Something really horrible. That was Nanashi's past? The past is getting jumbled together. What you saw before was most likely her letting you in, and her control over the space began to diminish. So that's why only I was able to see it. However, that was enough to understand the awful things she's had to live through. Her Kiseki will appear again. Why don't you get back to what you were working on in the meantime? Yeah, I know. 